That's me. Give it to mama. Hey, and today I'm here with a very different video. Very, very different. Um, this is not my norm. Y'all know that. I don't, well, I wear weave. But y'all never seen me with actual weave, girl. Mm, so I got some weave for y'all today. Let's get into this tea right quick, okay? All right, so let's So today, the hair that I'm gonna be talking about, I have all my nails written down right here. Um, today, the hair I'm gonna be talking about is from a company called Jador. Jador J. O E D I R J Door J Door or whatever. If y'all know how to spell it or pronounce it, let me know. But it's called J Door Hair, and it's this is the Brazilian kinky curly hair in the inches 18, 20, and 22. Uh, they gave me an 18 inch bundle and two 20 and 22 inch closures. Two closures. Oh, wait a minute, no, reverse. They gave me an 18 inch closure and a 20 and 22 inch bundle. That's what they gave me. But I only used the closure and a, um, the 22 inch bundle and I used half the 20 inch bundle. And I made this into a unit. But we're going to talk about that a little bit later on in the video. So, yeah, so the first thing I want to tell y'all is, you know, it's just, this is, you know, just the basics about this hair. This is at obviously kinky curly hair. It is not, um... You know, no deep wave, loose wave, beach wave, body wave. This is kinky, curly hair. These have kinks. These do not have little cute little waves. These are kinks, okay? So there is, there is really a difference between deep wave, body wave, loose wave, beach wave, jerry curl. Well, no, jerry curl is about similar to this. Um, this is this is this is some kinky hair. This is this is if you were wearing your 3C, 4A, 4B hair on your head. No, no, no. I would say this is about 3C, 3B-ish, 4A-ish. This is what I would say it is, yeah. So, and I've been wearing this hair for about three weeks. And I've been wearing this hair for three weeks. Um, And now I'm making a video because I wanted to actually show y'all and actually have the knowledge enough to know about this hair. I don't want to just... And I mean, make the unit, put it on for the video, talk about it, and take it off. I'm not that would defeat the purpose. I'm telling y'all about the hair that I've been wearing. I've been wearing this hair. My hair. Maintenance Sorry. with this hair. I want to say, if you're gonna get this hair, because I know somebody out there is gonna get this hair for vacation, you just think, you know, I'm not gonna I'm just go slap me a wig on or have somebody install these buttons. I'm gonna install these buttons by myself for vacation. You know, and I'm not gonna do no manipulating to my hair. <sighs> you're gonna manipulate this hair, sis. And um, and I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna manipulate this hair because this is as if you're wearing your real hair out. This hair is it's it's your real hair on your head. It's not no. Mm, I'm just gonna do like a quick little cute wash and go and just go, you know, just spray some water on it and go about my day. No, 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 you're gonna have to actually sit there, detangle piece by piece. You're probably gonna have to cold wash. You're gonna have to wash this hair. You're gonna have to, this, this is your actual hair. So if you're getting this hair for um, little to no manipulation, then you're crazy because you're gonna have to manipulate this hair. Me personally, I thought the same thing. So I'm like, I shouldn't call you crazy because I thought the same thing. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get this hair for spring break. I'm gonna get this hair for spring break, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm gonna be cute on the beach with my curly, curly hair, and oh, oh, uh, no, I actually need to wear this hair for spring break. So, I'm kind of glad I didn't because I would have to do manipulation to it, and I don't have, I didn't have time. Yes, you're gonna manipulate, you're gonna manipulate this hair. Um, it can get a little irritating at times if you don't know how to take care of kinky, curly hair. Um, I personally know how to take care of my kinky curly hair because I have kinky curly hair So I know you have to piece by piece Detangle it start from the bottom, you know stuff like that But if you don't know about curly hair, I want to suggest you get this hair because you really have to maintain this hair a lot You, you can't just throw it in a ponytail and call it a day because it will mat together and it will clump together because it is kinky curly hair um, This can easily clump together, but you know just be really patient with it and detangle it like that and just throw it back back behind there um, 
it does get bigger and it does get frizzy because like I said this is as if you were wearing your natural hair on your head so you know it may not have came from your scalp but you have to take care of it as such you know so I'm um, just take care of it with care you know don't don't be oh it's not it's not detangling sis it's gonna detangle take um your the time. wear on this hair if you make it into a unit like I did I made this into a wig if you make it into a wig like I did it can last you I want to say I'll say two to four months me personally I'll say two to four months um but if you wear it as a sew-in I would say a month a month because you have you have to twist this hair. Some nights I twist this hair, some nights I don't. Some nights I just throw it on my wig block and go to sleep. Sometimes I, I never wear this on my head though, when I go to sleep. I never do that because that causes matting and tangling. We don't want that. We don't need that. We don't want that. So if you wear it as a sewing, I would suggest you know twist it up at night. If you don't got time to twist it up at night, at least throw some water on it, comb it out, and put one big braid in it and go to sleep or something. Um, but do not go to sleep like this. Because in the morning, you'll wake up with a matted down mess. Like my mama said, matted down mess. And you don't want that. That's just more time in your hands in the morning. Me personally, I'm a college student. And I have 9 o'clock and 9.30 classes. So I don't have time to wear this on my head and detangle. So what I do is, at nighttime, I take it off. I put it on my wig block or I leave it on my head. Whichever one doesn't matter. And I detangle it at night. I put some twists in it. And I keep it on my wig block. And I go to bed. In the morning time, I throw it on my head. Put some oil on my fingers, take the twist out, and go about my day. As I would do a actual twist out on my actual head. So, yeah, you just have to um, just be really patient with this hair. This hair is not no Brazilian straight. You just can't run out the door with it. And even with Brazilian hey, straight, you shedding. have to take care of that. Um, with curly hair, it's going to shed. Any curly hair sheds. When you brush it out, it's going to shed. It's curly hair, y'all. This is not no type of hair. Um... This is not the type of hair that just, oh my god, it's curly so it doesn't shed. Oh, sign me up. No. All curly hair sheds, okay? Um, and that's just curly hair. Your curly hair sheds. This is your curly hair, so it's going to shed. Every time I brush it out, it sheds. And that that's not that doesn't um, um, reflect on the company because this is great hair, but that's just curly hair. Everybody here sheds. Natural hair sheds, and this is natural hair, and so it's going to shed. So expect shedding, but don't be like... This is this hair is old. I don't like this hair because it sheds too much. All curly hair is just gonna shed, but they're gonna turn out bomb. Every time I brush this hair or detangle hair, I always get shedding, but expect it because it's, it's curly hair. The weight curly of this hair. hair. You know what? This is some really light hair. I'm not even gonna lie. It feels like a cloud is on my head. That's how light it is. I love it. And you, I, I don't even. Sometimes I don't even realize I have on my this hair. Until I be doing this and I be scratching it and my little my closure I just slide back a little bit and I just be like, oh girl, what you done did, sis? <laughs> so I gotta pull it up. But fortunately, I go to the HBCU, so everybody wears wigs here, <laughs> so nobody judges. Okay, but um, so yeah, it's very very lightweight. Um, very lightweight. It's very y'all love this hair, y'all. I just there's not really many uh, bad things to say about this hair. Like it's just so light and fluffy and then the um when i receive the bonus i'll actually insert some pictures the packaging packaging the packaging was so, so cute, and it was so put together so nicely. I'm actually going to insert some videos and some pictures of when I first got it and how I bleached my knots actually right about now.
I did to my um my closure into my bundles um if you if you receive these bundles your bundles are not gonna look like this when you come out the packaging when you come out the packaging it's gonna look like what I showed y'all prior to what I'm saying now um but me personally every time I um have bundles I always wash the bundle before I put them in my head one because that's just sanitary and two because I have very very sensitive skin I just can't be putting anything everything on my hair on my face or in my head so I make sure they're washed with the shampoo that I use the hypoallergenic shampoo that I use yeah. for myself um one con about this hair one thing I don't like about this hair is when it came packaged and I took it out the pack it had a very very bad smell the smell was horrific I cannot i tried to can you know even the products that i used over my hair still couldn't um it still couldn't mask the smell but eventually it went away because like i said you will be having to wash this hair a lot you will have to co-wash this hair you will have to put water on his hair and products on his hair to make it be at its best at its fullest potential so yeah you're gonna have to do that so yeah so the smell will eventually go away um, the products that I use on my hair are... Okay, I use a lot of products, y'all, so bear with me. Alright, first thing I use on my hair is water. A little water. I use water. There's no water in here right now because I used all of it. But I'm going to fill it up in a minute. <laughs> so, I use water on my spray bottle. Ooh, there is water in there. Then for my leave-in, I water use and what I use... On my natural hair, which is my Garnier Fructis leave-in conditioner, this is the best leave-in conditioner I would say for any type of hair, all type of hair, sis. And best, um, best. I like to put gel on this hair, but I do not like to use Eco because Eco is really, really hard on the hair and make your hair super, super hard. So I like to use the curls. Isn't that what it's called? Yeah, it's called curls. But this is called the Goddess Curls Frizz Fighting Botanical Holding Gel that is formulated with certified organic mango, shea butter, and plumera flower extract. So, I would say I would not use it on my natural hair because I don't feel like it's strong enough for my coat for my natural hair. But for this hair, it is very, very, it works very, very good and it's not hardening. I mean, it will harden your hair a little bit because, of course, it's gel. But... It's, it's perfect for this and for these. I wouldn't use it on my natural hair. If y'all if y'all have 4B, 4C hair like I do, I would not suggest this. I will go back to my eco for my real hair. But for my this hair, this is the way to go. And I don't think y'all can see it because it's so bright. Wait a minute. Hold on. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? I have it in the description box. But it's called Curls. And it is a gel. It is not as heavy and not as hardening as eco style gel. But it works great on weaves. And wigs like I got so my hair just loves this stuff y'all I promise y'all the next thing that Tell I use on my clothes to lay down my clothes is my motions foaming wrap lotion and I use I sometimes I use this on my um my curls but it makes my hands sticky and I don't like my hands being sticky so I just use this on my closure to make it lay flat like this um yeah, that's all I use. I use this on my closure. And it makes my hair a little sticky and a little heavy sometimes. So I would not suggest using this on your hair all over your head. But it does do its job on the closure. So for my closure, and for my, when I want like some super defined curls, I use my Shea Miracle Curling Pudding, y'all. Y'all know how I feel about this. I use this um, on everything for my natural hair, for my weaves anything i use it if i want some popping curls like today i didn't use this because my curls aren't popping i just want a basic curl so i just use this and some water but i use when i want some popping curls i use this stuff because it is the best so but i would not use this every day because it can cause product buildup and nobody wants product buildup i would say you can use this probably once a week and twist it up and keep putting water on it and it'll just revive your hair water revives anything so just keep putting water on it and you're good to go so everybody uses this 
got to be glued. Um, I did not see the need in buying a big bottle seeing as I only have a closure. If I had a frontal, I would buy the big bottle and the spray because you have to, you know, do all that. But I don't wear frontals. I actually hate frontals. So, but that's another topic for another time. I don't like frontals. And the last thing that I use, um, after I have taken out my twist and when I told y'all earlier, I put the oil on my palms or whatever. This is the oil that I use. This is the anti frizz oil. Um, I didn't use a lot today, as you can tell. Yeah, I didn't use a lot today, but this is my anti frizz oil, and this is by Cantu. It's really nasty. But y'all, this smells so good, y'all. Oh my goodness. This is the anti frizz um, argan oil smoothing um, oil. Um, and I, I guess this is new. I didn't know it was new. <laughs> Got a new product, girl. <laughs> but um, I don't use this on my natural hair because I want to use. I use 100% pure argan oil or I use my 100% olive oil. I don't use oils like this that have all the chemicals and stuff in it, ingredients. No, no. I'm not putting this on my red hair. I put this on my weave, but I will not put this on my red hair. Um, and that's just me. I'm just real, real picky about my red hair. But yeah, and it, it does the job. It really, really does. It has no no silicones and no mineral oil, and I'm allergic to silicone, silicone and mineral oil. So this is great, 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 great for my skin. Um, well, I don't put it on my skin, but you know when you put stuff on your hair, obviously it's gonna get in your face. So if I have my hair on my face, it won't break me out. So yeah. So that's another tip, y'all. Read your labels, honey. Read your labels, girl. Okay. But yeah. So that is all i have for you guys about this lovely 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 hair there will be more videos about this hair because i just love this so 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 much so 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 oh look how big it is girl oh. but anyways i love this hair and yeah so do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more of your girl take um, and cut that notification bell on if you want to be notified when I post a video, okay? And if y'all really want to know what I do every day, okay? If y'all really want to see your girl every day, okay? Follow her on Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. All of my links will be in the description box below. Alright, that is it for you, girl. I hope to see y'all soon. Let's say family. Oh, yeah, if y'all are new, what is up? My name is Taylor, but you can call me Tay. <laughs> Everybody does. And if you're not new, welcome back to Slate Family. And I love, love, love y'all. Oh my goodness, y'all came back to see me. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, but yeah, thank y'all for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.